Hey everyone, and welcome to Nature with Gabe, the channel that connects you to nature and incredible people just like Greg here. We're out looking for turtles tonight. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And we actually went straight to the first spot and found a really cool turtle right away. So this is actually my first in-hand barber's mat turtle ever. Uh, it's an awesome little turtle. Um, I'll show you some footage of it right now, but we're gonna be hiking to these creeks tonight. Uh, Greg knows a ton about turtles, so he's gonna be um, kind of leading the way, and uh, you know we're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some, some variety. We're out pretty late tonight, um, so we'll see. Some of the things start moving really late at night, uh, so we should be able to find some cool stuff. So here's the beautiful little Barber's Map Turtle probably hatched in the fall according to Greg. Uh, this is an awesome turtle. Map turtles are quite a diverse group of turtles that are found here in the southeastern United States. And this is the barber's map turtle. Uh, this is a young one. It's very small and I'm just super excited to find this, this turtle tonight. Alright so we're photographing this little barber's map turtle and Max joined us and he spotted this cute little common musk turtle or stink pot. You can see that distinctive stripe on the face and a unique plaster on the bottom of the shell is different from a lot of the turtles that we have around here. But we're gonna let these turtles go when we're done photographing them and uh, keep looking for more turtles. So this right here is a young river cooter. Uh, they're one of the most common species found in Georgia. Uh, usually found in faster moving streams and uh, rivers, not as much in lakes. Uh, and yeah. See that carapace? Very cool. All right. Water snake. Water snake. make this out but that's a soft shell turtle under the water foraging for all kinds of mollusks and anything else you can find. So this is an alligator snapping turtle. Um, this is one from the upper Apalachicola drainage. Um, as you can see, these guys are mollusk eaters. And if you look inside of his mouth, you can actually see a tiny clam inside of there. And that's these guys' favorite food is these tiny little invasive clams. They've turned into like a food source for these giant turtles. It's kind of funny, the smallest thing is like 
you know, this huge turtle's favorite thing to eat. And they'll also eat mussels, loggerhead musk turtles, crayfish, and in the fall, a lot of plants, acorns, nuts, and small fruits like muscadines. Uh, these are my favorite turtles. Uh, it's cool because I'm pretty sure this is one I caught last year. I'm gonna have to match it up with some photos. Uh, but it's always cool to see these guys and you know, it's it's neat to kind of see the, the wear and tear that they get uh, as they get this big and this old. Uh, this turtle is easily 60, 70, 80 years old. Really neat, they're really long lived and um, just a really unique turtle. Awesome. 